Hey everyone, and welcome to Trend Micro's how-to series of videos. My name is Nicole Eby, and I'm a tech lead here with Trend Micro Tipping Point. Today we're diving into the second of three videos talking about high availability. Our topic this round is Intrinsic HA, or Layer 2 Fallback, as it's commonly known. We'll also have a section on Transparent HA in a bit, as the feature is often used in tandem. So what is Intrinsic HA, exactly? By definition, it means having the capability of bypassing all traffic automatically in case of hardware or software failure, which preserves the availability of the data you need to run your business slash application slash life. Here's some of the reasons an IPS TPS device might go into that state on its own. Now this feature is also called layer two fallback because when engaged, the IPS TPS passes all traffic without inspection at layer two in the OSI model. By design, our devices don't act as an endpoint, so passing traffic at layer two essentially makes the IPS TPS invisible to the rest of the network. This means that in addition to automatically passing traffic if there's a system failure, it can be a great tool for determining whether or not the unit is the source of a lesser issue. For example, let's say you're seeing latency in traffic to a web server in your environment. Now this could be the result of filters triggering on that traffic or some issue with the device, but because profile and device configuration can get complex in large environments, manually putting the unit into layer two fallback quickly takes the IPS out of the equation. If the latency continues once the feature is engaged, you then know that the device hardware or configuration is not likely to be the cause. And that can save a lot of time in troubleshooting. So how do you put a device into layer two fallback exactly? Let's find out. For today's demo, we'll be using an SMS and an 8400TX, both running 520 code. After logging into the client, we'll browse to the Devices tab. From there, we'll click on the device we want on the left-hand side. And from here, there's actually two ways to accomplish the task. The easiest being to simply right-click on the device picture, select Edit in the Context menu followed by Intrinsic HA, and then choose the mode you require. You can also expand the device you're working with on the left and choose Device Configuration. From here, click Edit on the bottom right to bring up the Configuration menu. Choose HA on the left, and that brings you where you need to be. The options for Intrinsic HA are easy to see here. Simply choose your mode and click Apply. The section below Intrinsic HA happens to be our segue for the day. Transparent HA is typically deployed in environments that have redundant pathways established for network traffic. If one path fails for any reason, administrators can switch to another. TRHA is basically a direct connection between two IPS TPS devices that each lie on these different pathways. And they share all the information they have about block streams, trusted streams, and quarantined hosts. If traffic fails over to this other pathway, the new device can pick up inspection right where the other left off, which prevents unauthorized traffic from sneaking through during the transition. To enable Transparent HA, check the box and then choose the partner device. You can also encrypt the traffic being passed between them by enabling and then entering a passphrase. You'll need to perform the same steps on the partner device for it to take effect. There are some requirements you should be aware of when using TRHA. Note, for example, that our 440 and 2200 devices require the use of a directly connected HA port for this type of deployment. The others will be connected over the network via their respective management ports. Transparent HA traffic isn't encrypted by default. And if the pathway of communication between the two devices is physically secure, this should probably be left that way as it provides better performance for the link. If the link between the two devices is not physically secure, you'll want to encrypt this traffic with a passphrase. As a hijacked partner device or rogue device that impersonates the IP of a transparent HA partner, could potentially get access to that table data. But what does any of this have to do with layer two fallback? I mentioned before that administrators often configure two different pathways for traffic to travel, and that that switch of paths is always managed upstream of the IPS TPS device. In many cases, it's optimal to have such a failover be automatic, detecting a downstream issue and immediately diverting to preserve communication. But if layer two fallback in the act of preserving the same communication in case of failure simply passes all traffic uninspected, the upstream automated system won't detect a problem or fail over to a device that's perfectly capable of performing inspection and keeping your network secure. 
enter the layer two fallback behavior setting, which allows you to determine whether all traffic is permitted in layer two or completely blocked. When an issue arises that forces the device to go into fallback, dropping all traffic will notify devices upstream that there's a problem allowing an automated transition of all traffic to a different path so that the other device in Transparent HA can pick up traffic inspection immediately. This gives administrators time to address the problem on the first device without sacrificing network security, something critical in high security installations. To learn how we go about configuring that, let's go to Network Configuration section for our device. From here, we want to have a look at our physical segments. Each slot that has a module inserted is presented here, and you can expand them by clicking on the plus sign to see each segment and port. And we're just going to double click on segment one and choose link down synchronization on the left to get us where we need to be. This screen allows you to choose how a segment or port treats traffic under either intrinsic HA or link down states. The change in our example is simple. Click the block all button under intrinsic HA and click finish to apply. Notice that segment one now says block all under intrinsic HA. You can change how traffic is handled by each segment or even each port, depending on your network needs. And that wraps up our how-to for intrinsic and transparent HA. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our Tipping Point Technical Assistance Center. And thanks so much for watching.